Hello traders, FS Purple here. Today is Wednesday, January 24th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro US dollar starting on the monthly time frame, working my way down to that one hour for the full top down analysis. So on the Euro dollar monthly, I'm still very bullish overall. I still think this is going to be a big uptrend. I still think we're looking at like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pattern, which I do believe will go up and take out these highs. And I still think it looks like an expanding flat, which means this five-way pattern possibly could be a wave C. And once it's over, it possibly could make a big move to the downside. So taking it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, this move down to me is definitely looking pretty corrective. I am definitely still very bullish. I still think there's a very good chance that this is going to continue to make higher highs, higher lows on this weekly time frame. And that we're going to have a 1, probably an expanding flat wave 2, and we're going up for a big wave 3. So taking it down even further to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we definitely do have 3 waves down. We got impulse it down, corrective up, impulse it down. I mean, it kind of turned right in the middle of two FIB levels, but I mean, you could definitely consider this respecting the 38% FIB. We're going to have to keep a close eye on this. If it goes up and if it breaks Strutzer in a big way, then I would say it's possibly the end of the question. And we may already be going up probably in a wave three of three because this five-way padded up looks like a one. This ABC is probably a two. I think it could be a one of three, a two of three, and a wave three of wave three to come. So taking it down to the 4 hour time frame, we had a bunch of Euro PMI news this morning as you can see, definitely made the Euro pretty strong. The news was definitely pretty mixed, but the Euro definitely took it as uh, good for the Euro I guess, or at least good for the currency that is. I mean to me this does seem like very clearly to be a downtrend, and this very clearly seems to be a 3 way pattern for a way B. And then we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, kind of like a 6 and a 7 wave pattern, almost like 7 waves for the wave C. Now I can't really say for sure this wave C is over until we get a nice clear break of Strutzer, which we don't have yet. But with how impulsive up this is, I do think there is a pretty good chance that this is going to break Strutzer. And at that point, I think there's definitely a very good likelihood that this is the end of a correction and the continuation of the uptrend. Taking it down to the one hour time frame, I left my Fibonacci retracement on here because like I always say, if price starts to close above or below the 78% Fibonacci retracement of any move in the market, then most likely it's not over and most likely, yeah, maybe it will pull down, but most likely it is going to go up and most likely it will take out the previous highs. So I definitely would be looking for buys right now. I mean, if it goes up and rejects Strutzer, I mean, and then goes down and breaks Strutzer to the downside, that possibly would turn me back into a seller. But the fact that it's uh, above the 78% of this move, like I was saying in last night's video, and the fact that now it's above the 78% of this move, I definitely would continue to look for buys at the end of pullbacks, probably for the continuation of this uptrend, possibly even the end of a wave C, and possibly even the beginning or the very early stages of a wave 3. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.